Hi, Kathy Dam here. I just wanted to share how I created a page that was useful for our department to share information with our students that spotlighted individuals in our community um, that showed diversity. So I'm in our division shell and we have the psychology module and I'm just going to scroll down to um, one of the first pages I created, which was for Black History Month, but you see that I've um, done this for other uh, months as well and uh, we will continue to do this. So the goal for me was to create something that was easily copied and pasted into other shells so that instructors didn't have to work hard to um, share this information. Now instructors could easily share a link uh, to somebody, uh, to a profile, but I think that it doesn't say to the students that I cared enough to look this person up and give you a view of what they look like. So it's easy enough to copy and paste um, text and paste that into um, another announcement from another course. But when you copy and paste images, uh, frequently the images won't work in another course because they've been uploaded. So just to show you that error, I went ahead and this is a new course. So I have this little dog image. So if I copy this and I go into a separate course, so if I go to this course and I wanna copy and paste that content into an, a new announcement for a new course, if I go to paste that content, just call this fake. You'll see that the um, image might look like it's coming through, but if I save it, it's actually a broken image. And that's because the original image was referenced on a different course shell. So if you have images that you want to be easily copied and pasted, um, loading them into each course shell isn't going to work. So if I have faculty and I want to share information, or, and particularly I wanted to share these images, I wanted to go a different way. So coming back to this original um, page, what I did was when I created the page, I used hyperlinked photos rather than uploading images. And so, um, oops, I went really fast. So if you look here, um, I gave the source of the information, so which is modeling for students on how to appropriately give people credit. But if I go to this spotlight um, on Active Minds, that page looks like this. And you'll see here is the image that I have in my page. So how I got this image link is when you see this image, if you right click, you'll have these options come up. And what you wanna do is open image in a new tab. Um, you can also copy image address, but the reason I like to open image in a new tab is some websites break their images up so that you don't steal them. And so you wanna make sure the image that you want is what you're looking for. So I'm gonna open image in new tab, and all I should see is Kenneth Clark by himself. And that's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna come up to this URL up here, you'll see it's a JPEG, and I'm just going to copy that. So I've hit copy. Now, when I come over to this um, announcement, if I wanted to, I'll just take this picture off and show you how I loaded it. Now I want to embed an image. You click on upload, but you're not really uploading. You're gonna do the URL function. And so you type in the URL, and then you wanna type in Kenneth Clark. So that's the image of Kenneth Clark. So your alt text will be the description of who it is, but you'll use the URL of the website that you were just looking at. So if I hit submit, now the image looks the same as it would be if you had uploaded an image as you normally would do in Canvas. So from your own eyes and from the student's eyes, it doesn't look different. But on the back end, it's not uploading an image, it's actually referencing a link. So that if I hit save and I copy this um, little blip here, so I wanted this to be, um, one announcement right there. If I go to this other course that isn't on the same system, the image will still show. Let me show you. So we're back at this other fake course. And if I come to this announcement and I can uh, make a new fake two uh, announcement, I can now paste and um, I know that when I hit save, the image is still there. So it's referencing that um, Active Minds website and not an uploaded URL. Um, so that's just a nice trick. Now, if Active Minds changes their images, this will 
uh, go away. If they delete it, it will be deleted from here. Um, so this won't work for perpetuity because websites change the locations of things and they remove images. But if you're just trying to one semester, make it easy for your faculty to share information. And in this case, I really wanted to in encourage our faculty to share images of people of diversity in our field making a big difference. I feel like seeing the faces of those individuals can be very powerful rather than just sharing a link. And so by doing it this way, I've allowed faculty to be able to go in and copy and paste the information um, into their own pages, uh, in their own course pages, so that we can kind of broadly do this across several courses.